write anything on your computer, you need to get Grammarly. I write pretty much all day, every day, and Grammarly makes my writing better. <clears throat> as a student, I like that it's free. It actually is correcting everything as I... Pardon me. Evening all. <laughs> um, okay, welcome to another ICC uh, banter blitz. And I'm just adjusting a little bit there. Okay, we've got our first challenge here, Rocky Top. Um, and okay, let's accept. Hi on stream and hi Rocky Top. Okay, let's try this. I usually play uh, an uncomfortable Sicilian against them when he uh, plays against my Smith Morrow Gambit. And uh, let's try this. Uh, I'll take an interest in E3. Um, recently, as a surprise weapon. Okay, so he's going to play a, a Dutch. I don't want the double pawns. I've had this recently, accepting the double pawns. It's, there's no point, I think, to accept the double pawns. In fact, can I have my knight there uh, to kind of influence the central squares? So if he takes, I get the bishop there. Oh, I thought he might actually move it back. Okay. Now I'm thinking here, queen c2, bishop d3, I castle queenside. Uh, I think that should be a fairly pleasant position. Although, is it running into e5? Let's do this, which discourages e5. That's a different move order. So maybe discourage e5 here. Maybe I can take care. I'm not sure about the discover checks. Again, I can prevent. Oh, can I? e5, bishop takes, e takes, not really. Let's castle. So with the bishop pair, I'm hoping uh, this is going to be cool. This position. <clears throat> so something like bishop d3, yeah, it does prevent e5 here. C5, yeah, he could take. That opens up the bishop, though, if I ever take. I'm just wondering this position, yeah. If I'm discouraging e5, on top of that, the thing is... Okay, I was thinking h3, g4. Yeah, maybe he's going to come in with e5, right? But he's going to open up the bishop if he's not careful. Hmm. Although e4 looks as though that's worth playing for him. What if I did this? I'm thinking, let him play e4. Uh, in the there, there is an idea. There is a method to the madness. If he plays e4, maybe bishop e2, and then f4, and then g4, and then g takes, and then the g file. So yeah, that's an idea. I think let's put the king here away from any potential dangers a bit more. Now e takes my bishop's holding e1 so I don't think there's a queen for two rooks scenario. Okay so I'm hoping for f4, g4 and actually with his pawns on light squares here I've got lovely dark squares to try and tap into here I believe. So f4, g4, the bishop later dream position is on that diagonal in my dream position and uh, I'll, in my dream position the bishop will be coordinating with a rook on g1 so that's my dream scenario here so this is a very different territory from my usual game with him which is usually in a, a smith morrow gambit okay now i guess this d5 i should be worried about it but it is more pawns on light squares and corresponding dark square weaknesses Potentially. Okay, so can I do this? I'm trying to achieve that dream position I've mentioned. If you ever play c5, I'm wondering, wow, I'm wondering about d takes to try and get the bishop to this diagonal. The danger thing is maybe d4 and an e takes e3. Is that any menacing scenario? Okay, I'll get my heading from the dream position here. Rook there. Now I need this bishop to go in place across the diagonal. So how can that be achieved? Maybe this is the first little step. 
uh, which holds actually a3, which means b3 without dropping a3. Okay, maybe I can do this now. So I'm ready for bishop b2. I'm holding c4 as well. I'm hoping d4. I don't think d4 by him on c5 takes. I don't think he's got d4. My rook's controlling d4. So it's still looking good. A pawn sack might add a bit of spice here. Uh, if he wants to win a pawn there, I still get d5. So yeah, I think this might be the time to add a bit of spice and bravery with a pawn sack. Yeah. I'm going to do this, otherwise this bishop might never be active. If he does this in search of a pawn, I'm, I'm wondering now he's liberated my bishop across the diagonal. I think it's worth that pawn sack. Famous last words. Knight takes d5 is possible here. C takes. Knight takes. Knight takes with check. Okay, let's just take here, opening up that bishop. Though he has got rook takes g1. Have I just blundered the piece there? Does he have rook takes g1 and queen takes d5? Yes, some technical points to bear in mind here. <clears throat> Maybe I should take on g8 while I've got a chance. And also, I've noticed Check. another thing. Uh, my bishop's hanging as well. So taking on b3. Hmm. Might be doubtful. Okay, I'll try and get this pin again or not. Maybe knight takes f6 just to relieve that duty check. of losing a knight on d5. Okay, now the check here. Check. I'm still hoping there's something interesting about this position uh, in my optimistic sense of optimism. Uh, although I've lost two pawns, I have got an amazing, in theory, an amazing dark square bishop. In theory, queen d6 might be handy. Okay, is it ever going to happen? I need some more pressure here on the dark squares. How? Rook g5 might be good for rook takes f5. You can always defend f5. Hmm. Okay. Queen b3. Knight takes. Ooh. I mean, rook g7 looks okay, but yeah, no, he's got a few pawns and I'm not sure about that entirely. Hmm. Might queen d2 for a moment. Rook d8. King a1. Yeah, if I just try and get a grip on the dark squares a bit more. Uh, so queen d4 here gives me, I think, rook g7. In fact, queen h8 check is handy for winning the rook. Uh, queen h8 check here, then rook g7. Unless he's got a killer check on C3, I don't think so. Check. I think this is good news, but uh, it didn't seem that convincing, the implementation, I have to admit. Thanks for the game, uh, Rocky Top. Chess Freak. Okay. So, is he ready? So we have a tango here, the knight tangoing from the queen side there to the king side. This is one of my favourite start positions, sort of, uh, perhaps without h4 usually. I think it makes a bit more sense with white playing h4. Knight takes h4 here looks tempting. Knight g5, knight g2, king f1, knight f4. He could take on h5 later. Is it? He disrupts castling though. Right. 
So I'm wondering whether to take it, to consider taking it. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempting a disaster, aren't I? With this greed. Check. But I'm wondering if I can get back to F4 here. Usually in a blitz game, if you're greedy, you're asking to be punished. On this occasion, maybe G6 is possible because it's a pin. It's kind of self-pin. However, knight takes, king takes, bishop takes, king takes, I think I'm okay. So has he actually gone into a self-pin trying to get the material back? Which means that the greed, in a way, caused the self-pin. The opponent having that compulsion to get the material back. It was a very greedy move. I wasn't that convinced just now in playing it. But here, okay, again. Okay, it's Check. not fatal for the opponent. Knight g4, though, is losing a piece. So d6 is better. So that knight g4 is actually a move, which doesn't lose a piece. And hits the knight. I also, yeah, that hits f2 as well. Maybe better is bishop takes f2. Okay, knight g5 is still possible here. Now if knight takes f2, queen h4, if bishop takes, queen takes, and if bishop takes, rook takes, I think this is okay. Uh, yeah, it, it looks fun. <clears throat> well, energetic for my queen to try and use the dark squares. I thought queen h4 here is good. It threatens mate, actually. And the knight's hanging, unless he's got a check. Actually, bishop and queen and knight all on f2. So if I can play king takes, I'm just a piece up here, surely. Check. Yes, does seem a piece up. That Desperado doesn't convince me. He's still going to handle f2 in this position. Let's say queen e2, bishop takes f2. Okay, thanks for the game, Chess Freak. J. Russell 2, okay. I'm pre moving the move d4, whatever happens here. Let's pre move this on the capture. It's best to stick with legal and sensible pre moves, not to give any, not to give such a big downside to the pre moves. Make sure they're not going to like even in theory lose a piece or get checkmated but that one was pretty safe because otherwise it was an illegal move so pre-moves when it's kind of you're guaranteed a safe move I think I'm all for that sometimes uh, yeah I like this system with bishop d2 castles g4 later that does provide a it provides opposite side castling which is often fun and b uh, g4 knight e2 to g3 later so I get a knight into f5 try and wrench open the g-file and later put this bishop on that diagonal that's an interesting plan I think in this position which I have used just recently in fact I had a similar queen e8 from an opponent recently so I'm, I'm when I see queen e8 here I'm thinking d5 is less likely. When I see that, I think skewer time, I've got to move my king. Because sometimes black has bishop g5 on that diagonal. These diagonals when you castle are going to be like compensated for sometimes in advance. But here, okay, now that the king's pretty safe, knight e2 to g3 to f5 looks like a very juicy attacking plan. Added to the fact that g6, you know, I could take on h6. As long as d5 is not possible, in fact, I'll play this, which is similar to another recent game I've had. And h4 and g5 is what I played in a recent game instead of the knight plan. There's two plans which are viable, either the knight f5 plan or h4 g5, which is positional, trying to suppress d5 from black as well, as well as open up lines. So here, h4 g5. Okay, I'm not so sure I need to be worried about knight c4.
I just realized I'm not being watching the chat. <laughs> Sorry, uh, watching the chat now. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, I'm seeing the chat now. If you've got any questions and stuff. This is a plan I've just used just, just yesterday, actually. So I'm reusing a plan cheekily from a game I've had just yesterday, but it's it's kind of a rare bird system with white. So it's interesting to collect some ideas for it to make use of in other games. Uh, so I'm here, I'm thinking F4 and Queen H3 is really dangerous. F4 and Queen H3. So this is like really dangerous, I think. I'm not sure what Black's answer is to Queen H3. This is very, very tricky stuff when there's already, by default, the Rook has been activated without actually it doing anything. And also this one by default was useful. Both of them by default got some actual roles to play in this game, both of these Rooks. Happy Rooks. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. And it, I just don't see it. I just don't see it here. The knight's stranded. In fact, all right, f5. Oh, okay, now knight takes check, check. Yeah, I think this is over. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. The bishop's protecting the pawn against the queen. And if knight takes queen h8, check, king f7. Although my queen is attacked, f takes g is check. I think it's over. Still think it's over. I'm optimistic. You shouldn't be too optimistic in chess. There's always resources. But uh, here, in fact, I'm going to close the exit square of the king. Which is f7. So if the knight moves queen h8, is checkmate. Thanks for the game. Anan, okay. Um, let's see. Anan, hi there. Okay, so we're gonna have a Fincetto system. Fairly standard stuff. I quite like playing this stuff as well. I generally stick to stuff I enjoy playing, opening wise. I don't try and play openings on purpose that I'm uncomfortable with, although there might be some merit in getting experience in positions one doesn't like from a training perspective I've heard. But uh, on this occasion, I don't know. I just wanna, I, I just wanna have some fun. So I'm playing what I know a bit more. Okay, so uh, here an often used plan I have is d5 and e4 and try and use that g5 later. Of course the bishop eyes g8 at the moment. Uh, but maybe with d5 and e4, if this pawn remains on that diagonal, then maybe I can use the g file later with rook g8. Okay, as okay. And this rook needs to come in at some point, maybe to help. I think d5 is possible here. There's a quick check on forcing moves like knight g5 there and other crazies. They don't seem to do anything. The crazy moves, forcing moves don't seem to do anything. I hope. So I'm hoping this should roll smoothly with e4. Uh, pawn takes, pawn takes. Now if knight d4. Okay, this should still roll smoothly, I hope. Uh, maybe with f4. If the king was here, then there'd be. Oh, okay. Pawn sack. Now I have to be worried. Because knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Queen h5 looks dangerous. How dangerous? On queen f6, bishop takes d5. On rook f6, bishop g5.
That's a tricky move. <sighs> tricky move. What about f4? Letting my king come out. Is that terrible? It's probably a, it's a scary thing to do. But I'm wondering. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I I just um, hmm. I'm not entirely convinced by this. It's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk. Sorry about the webcam. I think I might adjust the webcam a bit. Let's see, does it adjust in 20 seconds? It's a little bit of a risk with the king popping out. But. Let's see, my idea here is I want to support d5 to free the queen. Okay, he's putting pressure. Now I've got some problems. Queen b5, I've got some problems coming. He might want to win b7. I might gain a tempo there with rook f7. Queen c6, queen f6. D4's hanging though at the moment. Alright, let's go for this. Does he really want b7? That's the question. It's possible. b7 is not just winning a pawn here. Oh, my head's cut off now. That was any. Just realised. Pardon me. b7 is not just uh, winning b7. It's sometimes you gain. Oh, Whoa! Am I getting mated? First question. If not, can I take? I can't see the mate. Um, so it's an exchange sent by him. Okay. Can I play queen takes d4? Maybe the king should go back before it gets embarrassingly mated. I'm aware of that. I need to pop the king back in bed here. Uh, can I risk one more move? Just look at outrageous stuff just before the king's not tucked in bed. Queen h5. Okay, I think it's all clear for queen takes d4, which would give me queen e5, which would help the fence. So I'm risking this. I want the king back in bed over here. King h7. I don't want it out and about. Although it is controlling f5, there would be check my king h8. Okay, maybe I can afford queen e5. Maybe. One should have a big sense of danger if the king's out and about. The king is as disastrous as Mr. Bean is. If you've ever watched Mr. Bean, should not be out and about. Just looking at crazy stuff now. Okay. Queen e5. I'm hoping I can risk queen e5. It is interrupting, in theory, that rank. Queen takes b7. King h7. Right, let's go back. If I can support e4, then maybe f3 after. Got to watch about why light squares being sliced though. If you ever took and say arrange something on light squares, I'm slightly vulnerable in theory on light squares, especially given he's got a light square bishop. So in theory, I might be vulnerable. In practice, I'm not sure I see anything too concrete. Rook e8 and f3 seems plausible takes takes bishop c2 king h8 i'm on the dark square back then bishop c3 might be a problem okay can i play f3 here 
and risk uh, check and queen d3 is like my point so takes takes check king h8 queen d3 is like my point i don't want to get slaughtered on light squares so okay with that in mind let's keep this diagonal intact for the moment and hopefully this isn't too vulnerable okay thanks for the game Grand Patsa. I might mix it with a C4 trickery because I don't want to exchange French. So it's kind of, it's almost like I've done a reverse Sicilian now. I hope, which is slightly different. I don't want any Knight B4 tricks, so I want to take without any Knight B4 tricks. And in fact. I play Poulsen style. Forget pinchetting a bishop. Pinchetting a bishop is too many pawns, I think, to commit to dark squares at the moment. The thing is here, isn't queen b3 possible? Is there knight a5? Check. c6. Bishop takes b4 after. If queen b3 is possible, knight c3, bishop e6, why isn't. Uh, I'm going to try it. So it's almost that like reverse Sicilian Paulson. So Louise Paulson played Morphe a few times. Louise Paulson? Not Louise, sorry. Have I got check? Check. I'm just wondering how. Takes, he's on g2. Bishop a2? Can I play bishop a2? b5, queen c2, can I do that? Is that crazy? I've misplaced his knight. That's an upshot here. He's got queen d5 hitting a2 and g2. Let's protect a2 now. I think he might have had some stuff with g2 there. I think I've got to get cancelled at some point. Knight g2 castle, and then there's f4 later. Whilst that knight on a5 is attempting theoretical issue I can't see at the moment I've got more issues pressing well he's got potentially b3 now maybe I should take on d5 so he's on g2 if it takes then there's b3 after so ap in circumstance Bishop a2, rook a2, bishop b4. Let's imagine rook a5, bishop a5. Oh, that's queen a5. Okay. Bishop b4, castles. Castles. Bishop d5. Okay, a castle. Oh, he's got queen g5, f3. Well, I've avoided the consequences of b3. Hold on a sec. I'm worried about g2 now. If I play, what about d4 trying to open up? d4, queen g5, knight g3. Looks plausible. Not entirely. Sure. This bishop might be bad piece. Bishop takes, pawn takes. No, just giving a hook. Rather not help his position. Bishop d2 
takes takes knight b takes knight b3 bishop d2 bishop a2 rook a2 i think i i think i might be able to play this might operative word So on a5, bishop a2, rook a2, knight b3, bishop takes, bishop takes. Maybe d takes and knight d4, that knight's not that bad. What if I take? Knight d4, bishop d5. I can play rook a5 first, bishop d5. Okay, knight d4 might be okay. Bishop d5 is a bit of a pain. Rook a5, queen g5, f3. I might be threatening knight c6 there if I play rook a5. Don't think there's any backfire on the pin. Knight c6, threat. Queen g5 threatens mate. f4. f4 is possible there, protecting g2. Okay, and if I double on a7, that could be handy later. Queen b4, queen c5 for a7 there. If he plays a6, another pawn on the light square. <coughs> My back row is a bit vulnerable for the moment. I can threaten another trick and cheaper with rook d5 and knight f5. Rook d5 threatened immediately, knight f5 more subtle on g7. Knight c6, queen c3. And how does he handle rook a7 here? As my back row taps into it with some like queen h5. H3, check, King H2, Queen G5, G3, weakening some light squares there. Okay. I'm worried about my back row now. Any C5, I think there's Knight F3. So was that the back row bit? Queen e4, knight f3. In fact, am I threatening knight f3 anyway? I have to parry the mate. Check. I've got a loose piece on a7. Queen e4, queen d4. Queen e4, queen d4. That is not lo a loose piece there. I think Queen D4 might be handy. Is he exposing my king? Let's protect the pieces. Check. Rook d4 and queen e4 central. <clears throat> mm, that's queen f3, that's a pain. Can I get these light squares under control? What's he threatening? I'm not sure. Can I play rookie four? There's a check to get the queens off. Check. Get the king. The center. Check. Oh, 
Right. Time warning. Oh, no. Check. 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 It's always a tough game with him. That's incredible. I, I find that he's much stronger than his rating. I, I really think that's incredible. Okay, so Bishop, mate. Um, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't believe it. I, I, okay, anyway. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. That that was a lot of problems to solve <clears throat> for one blitz game. Four D five coming up. <clears throat> Queen E seven and book D eight. I'm in trouble on this diagonal. Can I just take one at E4 here? No, it's blocked that. Knight takes knight takes C3. Knight takes E5. So knight takes E5, knight takes C3, I think. Desperado. Or knight takes No not knight takes F2 Bishop takes holds the knight. If I want a desperado here after knight takes, I think knight takes c3. He's got knight takes c6. I don't know. I'm getting a bit messy. This is going to get messy. Is he going to use knight e5? Bishop e6. Try for bishop d5. Oh, I'm hitting the knight. Swap with this guy to weaken the light squares. Swap off and check e4 opens up the bishop. Gives me knight e5 to d3 after. So e4, knight e5 to d3. Probably better to kick the knight first, but then knight e3, okay, queen e6, hits h3. With tempo, so then knight e5 to d3 after, or knight f3, check. So let's have a look at this. E4 looks like a useful move. Okay, I want to do this anyway. Maybe. So E4, Knight E5. It protects the pawn. E4, Knight E5. Plan to D3. That's the dream position, I think, to have. Knight E5 to D3. Okay, 
can win the exchange, but I don't like to uh, like this bishop. From a practical perspective, it might be theoretically better to take that, but in practice, I'd rather just have a dominating position without any hassle here. So knight d3 hits the queen. Knight takes c7, queen c6. He has to move the queen. Rook c8. One place c6. I can take the rook there. That's that's a freebie. But I like the knight as well. <laughs> the, the knight looks good as well. <laughs> oh, can I just push his pieces back without winning exchanges here? Just 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 for fun. I just want to push his pieces back without winning any material. I just need to, I would like to get a glorious looking position without necessarily being technically material up. I can do that with g5, f4, f3, keeping the octopus knight. The position is going to improve her, surely, with f4 and f3. Okay, thanks for the game. Rasta. Okay, Rasta. Is Rasta ready? Hello. Uh, okay, Lapcat. Okay, Lapcat. <clears throat> Wink for a first move here. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's see any other challenges at the moment. Oh, I've got my piece that on. Okay, I haven't played that. Uh, okay, let's go on the. If there's no immediate challenges now, I could go on the three minute water pairing for a moment. <clears throat> Don't adjust my position. Gonna be a time odds game against the Simon, it seems. That'll be fun. I am can vary from being extremely deadly on bullet chess. Some can give one to free to people like me. So yeah, he's giving a little bit of a time odds. I'm gonna try and vary things with Snake Benoni. Make things a little bit interesting and special. So it's got some properties of the Noni. Bishop a5 taking c3 is a feature to weaken e4. Maybe I can do this. Underlines f4. If nothing else, I can blockade here. This structure isn't. Maybe after a5 it is a bit dodgy. Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Bishop d7, rook c8. Knight h5 to f4. Looks plausible. This looks plausible. Why didn't I go with uh, Queen G5 just then? Maybe Queen G5 is better. Okay. Uh, the Queen can switch. He used to be able to switch, not now. Is F3 on the cards? Bishop G3 after. F3 here. Uh, Actually, okay, queen a8, queen d5 after. I think that was a pretty dumb decision to make by me. Queen a8, there's always bishop c4. I'm trying to get a pawn back. Holding b8 here. C4. Bishop f5. Keep some tension in the game. Queen takes c3. He's got this dangerous pawn. Check. Oh, he's just won the bishop. Oh, I've just lost the bishop. Oh, Check. Oh, oh blimey. News ever. Uh, I guess Time warning. Her. Oh, I'm getting mated now. Um, oh, no, I'm, I'm losing on time as well. Check. 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 Yeah. He didn't need the time against me, this guy. Let's go the challenges again. Uh, Chamangs. <clears throat> so G, this plan G4 knight E2 to G3. Oh, 
was there was a knight c4 issue here. Can I play this for h4, f4, f4 here, knight g4, queen g3. H6 looks, or G6 actually looks dangerous. Yeah. Oh, this looks really um, cool. I think. Check. If Bishop E6 takes and then Queen H3. Okay, I think Check. this is good. Queen H3 here. It's E6. I can defend that with Queen E7. Hmm. Okay, I'll protect here for a moment. Although I can just take that. Oh, I'm wondering if I'm getting any attack here after that. Okay, I'll use this rock. Oh, knight. Queen, queen a2, queen h7. Okay, his queen's tied down to h7. Um, okay, it looks pretty juicy position. Uh, I think knight f5, g6 is good. So I'm threatening knight h6. If it takes g6, looks good. Queen g6, rook g1. <coughs> hmm. Oh, jump mate. Thanks for the game. Wage slave. Okay. Uh, I'll play this with the idea of the bishop coming out. Okay, can I play e5? And I'll just drop back here, I think bishop e7. I think I'm okay on the dark squares at the moment. So let's see, queen here. <clears throat> Maybe g5 for g4 is possible. Play for hmm, is it F, playing for F five a bit dodgy. It's possibly a bit dodgy. Okay, maybe I should just uh, castle queenside. Oh, he's gone for this. Check. That's a bit weird, isn't it? I can't see immediately the uh, attack. My king doesn't seem that bad to me. So rook f8, queen f5, I can't see it, I can't see the attack here. Uh, what's the meaning of this? I know that pawn's pinned, so let's unpin that pawn to avoid losing the rook. So e4 and knight d3. Oh, I don't want to open up the bishop though, what about knight b3 instead to keep Check. the bishop locked in? And in fact, maybe b5 here. Or queen f5 is possible. e4 was possible. Um, I'm weakening my own king. Hmm. Uh, 
probably weakening my own king. Oh, he's got bishop e4. Can I play that? All right, he didn't do that. Yeah, I mean, I think he had takes and bishop e4, takes e5 with the pin on d6. So that was a bit really dodgy what I've just done. But anyway, it's done, it's done, it's done. What's done, it's done, it's done. Okay. Can I use this B file pin? So uh, Queen B5. Double on this B file. And I'm my dream position here. M moving this bishop. Oh, he's got the winning potentially pass pawns with g6, g. Okay, coming. Uh -huh. That's thing. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I can see one idea. Knight to c4 would be mating potentially. So bishop b2, well, I can take that. So knight c4 with rook a3 mate is the plan, is a plan of action before I get swamped with past pawns. Okay. Bishop b6 to c5 now. e3 first to keep that pawn. Alright, let's stop bishop c5. Rook b2. Rook a1. Yeah, these pawns seem a bit slow now. Rook a1 for it. Um, looks terminal. Thanks. Claus 2210. Klaus? Even Klaus? Okay. Uh, I've got an idea here, which might not be that convincing. I want to try and castle queenside. Actually, that's not going to happen, is it? For what I'm playing at. Looks like a bad position. <clears throat> oh, well, so he's not frightened of the fishing pole. Hmm? I guess he doesn't need to be. Yeah, might be on the unsound side. <clears throat> F4. 
four. This is not very good so far. This is up. <clears throat> can double rooks now though. Bishop c5 could be lethal. So you never know. But if I can double rooks and bishop c5. Well knight g4, bishop d knight g4 how covers f2 exit square. Unfortunately, oh he can suppress things. Oh. Check. Yes, I'm a knight down. I'm aware of that. <clears throat> knight f3, cheaper. Knight g4. I can take here. <clears throat> now that's equaled things a bit. Great, pre move check. time. Check. 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 <clears throat> check. Shouldn't have done that. Check. Check. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. No one pre moves me. Uh, I'm the pre move king and he's pre moved me. Oh dear. Oh dear. I <laughs> lost on position. On time there. Oh man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, just after I clawed back a bit, I lost the pawn. Bit annoying. Oh, okay, I'm a muppet. I'm a muppet. 
I got back and I just lost in the end as well. Oh, C5, C5, C5 wins a bishop. Ouch. Okay, before this bishop gets trapped. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm disorientated now. I'm actually, I'm actually feeling disorientated from the previous game. But anyway, okay. Um, knight e4. This is, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. Okay, time to have some water. Check. Try and keep the king in the center. Mm. Rook d4 might be. No, it's not. Uh, this one, just to try and keep the king in the center. So I think I've got rook takes d4. Rook d3 to e3. Oh, it's Queen G2, I should have liked that earlier as well. Queen G2 is coming up. Few pawns. Unless I've missed the fourth mate or something. There's a, there's a few pawns here. There is a way um, to win the queen. Rook takes queen here. No, there isn't. Yes, hold on. Rook takes queen here. There's, queen, there's rook f1. If he has to play king d2, there's rook e2 and queen g2. No, 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 this is not working. No, no, I, I don't know. G1 had to take it. This pawn could be a lot of hassle. Queen f5. I'll stop queen f5. Or oh, the check here. Uh, mm. 
Check. Horses are about to go back. At least. <clears throat> what about Rook F3 there? Rook F3. Yeah. That could set a big problem there. Rook F2, Rook F3. I don't know how defense F2 there. Because of this pin. That's awkward. Okay, that's a bit. Uh, yeah, lucky. Sorry. Okay, I was a bit lucky that. I, I don't know. I, think I woke up just in time somehow. Alright, the lethal ICC auto pairing back on this. Okay, can I just drop that now? Get a blockade on d6, so 97 to e8 to d6. Better than probably mounting a5. I get this blockade, bishop d7, f5, f4. The queen side seems solid enough. <clears throat> H5, g4. first then I can play queen eight to g6 at least that. okay he's got everything solid for a moment um, on E7 there. Silly. Mm. Queen A8. Can I try and break down this A file? Queen A8.
isn't there knight takes e4 nope there isn't check rook f5 okay Rook G8. Wow. Okay, can I take her? Check. All right, that's pretty tough on your to pray. GMGM. French defense. <clears throat> and I um, can get a knight to e5. Uh, under favorable circumstances here. So knight e5 round about here. So is he taking on e5 or maybe there's okay maybe there's f4 f5 coming up yeah so here uh, put this bishop around here uh, or rook f3 to h3 okay there um, yeah I'll take that have the bishop here so bishop c3 and uh, that should be okay. I guess F file looks fun. Just put the C file, I think Queen H5 and double the rooks. If G6 happens, okay, I think I can double the rooks around here. Let's not lose that pawn to Queen A2 though. Maybe Queen G4, Rook F4 hits E4, then I can double the rooks. Maybe then h4, h5, h6. <clears throat> that sort of thing. So I'm hoping that uh, this isn't too bad. Okay, can I double here anyway? <clears throat> so I'm hoping maybe uh, g4 or queen h5. Um, he has kind of blocked things up. Hmm. Bishop a3 is a concern. Big concern. I think I've got to get that bishop out of the firing line here. Bishop a3 is a major concern. Maybe, maybe I've got rook a1, the cheeky rook a1, rook a7, maybe. Okay, so say he doubles, maybe let's imagine g4. Oh, okay, okay, I'm playing, I'm hoping that g4 is going to do something. Uh, this is probably optimistic. He seems pretty solid, this guy. Okay. 
get the queens off. All right, I'm just wondering, bishop a3, rook a1. No, no, objectively, black's pretty solid here. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Let me play that. I'll play rook a1 though. Trying to get a7. Can you move? I think. Okay, can I use that A file in business on the A file? Um, let's see. What do we need to do here? Rook A8 looks strong. It sort of overloaded his position, isn't he? Almost. Okay, Rook C6 that I take. I'm going to get uh, Check. that C file. I think I should be happy with this. Although maybe I'm mistaken. I. I How is that king and pawn ending? Is it lost? Any plays rook c6 after? Okay, um. Not 100% sure now. What is he doing to me? I'm going to stop this naughty king. I don't know what he's doing with that. Where is he going with that? <laughs> I'll, I'll try and look at this ending. Hang on. Okay. Not now. I'm going to get mated with bishop h4 if I'm not careful. Let's just get out of bishop h4. Rook on the seventh, or pig on the seventh. That's good news, isn't that usually? <clears throat> I think I should play for d5. d5 would give me this nice pass pawn, or oh, potentially nice pass pawn. Okay, so d5. Yeah, I think. It's looking a little bit rosier than a minute ago. So d5 looks rosier all of a sudden because, yeah, this this pawn is my most advanced pawn here. Let's try and help it along. And also, he's only got like five seconds coming up, uh, which probably doesn't help. Okay, that was tough for a long time. There's Metanov, that was a tough game for a long time. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I didn't have Rook A1, that would be just a pawn down over there on the Queen side. After the tactic. Oh, the killer reverse French. Um, can I play like for knight d6 to win another pawn? Greed. Knight d6 will try and win naughtily another pawn. All the lights square bishop. Mm, probably silly here because of g2. So I can play 
either knight d6 or uh, knight g3 maybe knight g3 is the way to go knight d6 kind of helps run a bit this one pokes into f5 that could be handy later because uh yeah that, that should be that should be okay it's, it's a center pawn i've won that okay so bishop d2 knight f3 castle that's the plan i think okay might i don't want him to win c4 if i manually castle Check. queenside Or not castle at all. I'm still a pawn up. Is that correct? <clears throat> Check. Okay, so rook c1, maybe double rooks, knight e4 to c5. Try and blockade this. Uh, mm, okay, uh, yeah, I'm wondering, I don't know, this tactic of great. Devastation there, I hope. So, um, can I keep control on this position? C5 looks pretty painful for black. Knight d6, knight f7 is immediately threatens. Let's get the king out of there just in case. Tactics. Okay, I just want to double and knight c5. Or just knight c5 simplifies. Uh, doesn't lose d4 just yet, does it? Well, then knight f5. Is getting a knight. No, he hasn't got knight f5. Okay, as long as there's no rook d4, there's knight d4. I can I can double and take it from there. Maybe actually knight. Okay, knight e5 is happening. One day after h3, knight e5. Just the torch c6 a bit more. So h3 knight e5. What does he do about c6? Hmm. Okay, I think I can just take that. Rook c8 and knight a5 check. So that pin, I don't think it's lethal that pin, knight a5 check. Or d d5 in fact. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll go with knight a5 check. check. I don't think knight c3 is a problem yet, so... If the rook moves off c6, rook c6 is checkmate. Hmm. Knight d5, a3. So I want to play e4, e5. Mind you, e4, there's knight f4, okay. e5, trying to distract the rope from c6. That rook c6 looks like checkmate. So does he play, yeah, he plays rook the, yeah. So king e4. Try and play d5 and e6 if the rook's going over there. <clears throat> okay, so d5 and e6 looks like the way forward. Hmm. 
So rook c6. It's threatened. The main friend. <clears throat> Still friends. Check. Check. Peace of the game. Max Happy. Okay, Max Happy. <clears throat> Um, I'm sorry if I'm a bit quieter tonight than usual. I, I think I did something stupid before this session, which I'll try not to do next week. <laughs> I kind of, I did some work on my my channel, which I thought might be worth it, but it was actually a little bit exhausting. I, I actually, I, I, I did um, closed caption for Fisher's uh, most outrageous game, which is the game of the century. It's a like 25 minute video and I did closed caption for it for some reason I, I got involved but it's actually quite exhausting uh, <laughs> so if I seem exhausted I don't know I, I've I've overdone it you know running a, a YouTube channel is exhausting business if you try and do all the recommendations and probably I, I've been a bit stupid uh, this week uh, because I downloaded a tool for my channel which gives insight so it's like a moaner tool it just moans at you about the things you haven't done and one of them was closed caption so as a result i've been doing a few closed caption but it the downside it's 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 exhausting yeah the upside i thought i was like revising a you know classic you know fisher game hans mock called it game of the century but i it's definitely not i would not add it to my preparation for these blitz sessions in future i think i can feel it i can feel it through my commentary here tonight uh so yeah i can feel it okay anyway g4 rook g2 um okay <laughs> by the way if you if you're liking this session so far i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to perk up with water if you're liking this session so far Please do give the likes up to help promote ICC and all the other you know things they do. So that'd be really appreciated uh, if you could remember to do the likes up. Like now is a good time or whatever. If you forget at the end, so uh, that'd be cool. But I'm um, sorry for being so dopey tonight. I I I, I realise I I'm, I'm just kind of sometimes a little bit self-aware that I'm a bit dopier than usual. And it's it's yeah I, I just was going through this classic Fisher game. It's still fascinating to run through the main um, variations, yeah. Uh, can, can, it's tempting just to take on, on G6 here. I mean, you know, as in, really tempting. I can't, as in, I can't, I can't, like, refuse. I can't refuse. <laughs> I, I, I just think I should be able to use the G file later. Now, maybe that's total ridiculous optimism. It could very well be ridiculous optimism here uh, about using G file because actually it, it does seem to be. Uh, oh, somehow he believes me. Somehow I, I'm not really I'm not really convinced. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think his king has been weakened as a result of not accepting the dare. Um, uh huh. Uh 
I've still got this nice knight on e5, which is one of the inspirations for me playing this French defense in reverse was the idea of Tartikov's expression having a nice knight on e5. I can't play this because I lose the rook. Uh, so, but this is seems okay on the other hand. Better than losing a rook. Added benefit. Queen g6 looks very good actually. If I can strip away h5, then g4 is weaker. So that'll break down the whole thing there. Do I have time for f5? f6 looks very tempting for f7 it all looks very tempting but uh, sometimes uh, it's not as easy as all that if I use a rook sack instead queen g6 king e7 queen d6 is mating isn't it king. This, I'm threatening this rook sack surely or am I am I hallucinating this Okay, maybe maybe not. Let's go with the pawns then. Now rook f6 is on the cards for him. Do I have rook g4, rook g4, king h8? No. I think I want to hold that pawn a bit longer. Let's reverse on that decision there. I'm hoping without too much regret. Knight d7, e6. And this is queen e6 or something? Queen e6, queen e6. Knight f6, queen e5. I'm looking forward to stuff. Surely. Okay, here. Isn't bishop c3 possible? There's rook e6. So he's playing for those tactics. I can reinforce e6 to try and avoid losing horribly to rook e6. Oh. Now he's finally got his tactic. Can I do this? Oh, oh no. Is it really messed up? Queen e3, rook e6, queen g5 maybe. So if knight e6, that's kind of self in. If rook f5, then maybe rook e1. Alright, I'll buy that. Rook e6, queen g5. Now, why am I buying this again? Uh, Okay. Uh, so queen e5. Bishop c3, rook f5, rook f5. Queen isn't queen e6 sufficient there? To kind of win a piece. It is a bishop. Uh, he has got clock advantage, but um, it is a bishop. Now, if rook f7, queen h6 looks good, threatening queen h8 mate. If rook h7... No, if rook f7, queen e6 is just winning a piece as well. So in both cases, I seem to be winning a piece. Uh, except here, okay, I can do something like this. Check. Mm. I'm down to 29 seconds. This is unfortunate. I think I've got to go into pre move mode, roundabout soon mm, I think we've messed it up mostly yeah I used to have a good position 
check. Can I check. get a draw here? Draw. Check. Because I'm so down on time. Thank you. It, uh, I'm so down on time. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I'm, we're finishing a, a few minutes earlier this week. Um, so I got to be careful towards the end. I might try and do some bullet games because they have a finer resolution of when to finish. So aiming for a 10.55 UK time finish or uh, tonight. Um, now, this is just looks like a solid possession anyway. Uh, it's sort of fairly bog standard stuff. It's interesting how, yeah, there's a confidence for doing that with B7 sometimes is, is an issue. Hmm. Okay, so knight f3, knight e5. Or oh, f f3 looks tempting for e4, e5 here. That that might not be 100% um, the case. Uh, on the other hand, it's tempting. Um, Check. Mm -hmm. Am I convinced? What about King F1? Is it convincing? Maybe it's convincing. Um, <clears throat> Alright, to neutralize stuff, I've got a check. I've got Queen G5 after. Just from the point of view of simplifying. Check. So when you're up, you should simplify the general rule, but as long as you don't give your opponent any slight little concessions or advantages which might be held against you. <laughs> Basically, okay, but here it seems okay. He's actually improving my piece here. Someone on a uh, Grandmaster on YouTube has said to take his mistake. And I think he's got a point in some positions. Sometimes players are too forceful and they give the opponent concessions. But I don't think that's too bad. I'm also threatening knight takes e4 here. So let's see. So it looks like a, a reasonable piece up position. Um, okay, okay. Uh, H-pawn? The H-pawn was rather pointless, wasn't it? What was it? <laughs> I don't know. Knight g4, bishop g1. I'm thinking I can get the rook out like this. And g4. Mind you, that goes right into bishop g3 like a moron. I've played this like a total moron. Okay, it has the advantage of simplifying a little bit more <laughs> no. so okay he hasn't got the bishop pair he's got a few advantages i'm just going to make sure i'm awake uh, for the remainder of this game uh so let's see well he's given me a nice no i don't want to allow f4 or lose my d pawn in a hurry so something cautious like knight e2. If I can get a grip on the dark squares without losing my d pawn, that would be fun, maybe. Can I avoid losing my d pawn? <laughs> that doesn't run into f4, does it? Not yet. So can I have rook g6? Method of the madness, I hope. 
which is me night gives me a headache here I'm getting into more difficulties yes There is knight takes e6. Uh, no, there isn't. <clears throat> well, that looks good news, I hope. Check. To win an exchange. Am I back in the driving seat of this game or not? I wonder. A6 blockading here is prudent. And getting a bishop to g6 is uh, a mating pattern to be aware of with rook b8. Although fairly pointless, yes, in this particular position. Back to the drawing board there. Mm. What about just rook b5 to win a pawn for fun? Try and get one of these pawns. Surely it's difficult to not lose a pawn here. Okay. Evil plan is to take on a2, isn't it? I guess. And then queen his a pawn. All right. Okay. Check. <laughs> oh no! No, hold on. This is this is not happening. This is not happening. I I gotta be extremely careful here. <laughs> no, no no. Please don't get swindled. <laughs> oh is it already getting difficult? Oh crikey, what have I done? Have I made this? I've managed to make it difficult for myself. Oh, you know, you can't easily unblockade that bishop. I just had some visions of this losing position uh, where I can't stop the pawn because he's got rook d3 and f1. Ha ha. Very funny. But no, I'm blocking that pawn for a moment. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. I, I, I've got to stop his past pawn. I thought it was this one that now okay he's resigned okay <laughs> we played this Matanov raised in I'm not sure we played oh fu fu oh no, no I can't I, I can't I have to play instantly to make this fu no no I, I can we bought this sorry sorry it has to be a few minutes it's only five minutes I've only got five minutes uh, I'll Can we have a draw or something? I, I, I just realised I can't finish this in five minutes. So we, we'll stick to some bullet games now. So they're two minutes each. Two or three bullet games. So this, oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I honest. Oh.
so just I think two or three and then okay um, okay my d4 hat is as bad as anything Am I getting squished? You're squishing me. Not yet. Means the king might be under scrutiny. Checkmate. All right. Okay. Ten fifty-one. Four minutes. I'm trying to get this precision engineered finish tonight. something I'm trying to work out what it is um, I think this diagonal looks iffy is f7 looks iffy okay there's that weakness for the last move exploitation Just take on F five. Um right. Uh that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, he's always got tactics, hasn't he? Um Time warning. I've messed up, haven't I? Mm, big time. I'm going to exchange up. Let's not do that. One pre move Check. I make is a disaster. I, I try and make Check. one pre move. I mean, seriously, not even one pre move Check. I can do safely. Oh no, come on! <laughs> no, just the last game. The last game. No, no, it's, it's, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's 10 54. I, I. I I, I I gotta I gotta resign up abort. Sorry, sorry, it's over. Thanks. Uh, one fun, ten boring. Um, I I can't play this. Let's. Okay. Face. Uh, if you want to vote, I I gotta go now. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, Return. Okay. Radical resign. Okay, um, okay, thanks. I we've got to stop now. There's another schedule, I think. There's a tight schedule tonight. Um, 10.55 here, exactly. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, have a good weekend, and um, I'm going to stop here. See you next week. Cheers, then.